Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm excited to be one of the first people to be able to show you the brand new Scuf Impact controller. This one is unique and interesting because it's essentially an Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller that you can use to play on PlayStation 4. I know a lot of you are Call of Duty transplants moving to PlayStation 4 and not so many of you are as impressed with the controller. So we've got that one to alleviate pains and they have the new PlayStation 4 SCUF controller upgraded to SCUF Infinity, so you can go wired USB only and no issues with the Bluetooth signals. So let's jump straight into it with a quick unboxing of the SCUF Impact. So if you order one of these, it'll come in a box just like this one, a little bit of instructions on the back, social media stuff, but you will slide the paper out and it's inside of a SCUF box which you just lift upward as so. There's almost certainly going to be a little bit of paperwork on top. Instruction manual, which we will move out of the way. Usually a sticker pack of some kind. And finally, we have the Scuff Impact controller itself. You will notice there is a nice little key right here, which I will pop out, show briefly to the camera and put aside. So let's take the controller out so you can see it and get a good idea of how it looks. Now, the designs will change. They're all different colors and stuff, but this is the front. You've got the back, and just so you can tell, this little bit is textured. This is for grips, and there's a few extra little toys here in the bottom that we use to change out parts. So, some of the things you'll notice right off the bat that's different than a normal controller is that the thumbsticks here are concave. You can get them regular, which I have some regular thumbsticks here in the box, or you can get them domed, and I'll show you how to change them out later on because I actually personally don't like the concave ones. I like them domed. Uh, you can see that the triggers are a little bit abnormal here on the side, and if we come in nice and close from this angle, you'll see that there's a tiny little stopper that stops me from pressing it all the way down. That is your trigger stop so that you can rapid fire faster. Of note, these are a little bit special because, and this is going to be really hard, if you can see the little part down here, you can take it. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop this off real quick. If I can just do that. Yep. Now, believe it or not, I have not broken the controller. I've just removed a cosmetic piece so that you can better see the little part down here. So if I use my uh, nails to twist it, I'm trying to stay in camera here and turn her upside down, it makes even less distance. So you can just rapid fire press as fast as you want to. And you can put this little piece right back on. Pretty easy. Now that's one of many pieces. You can see there are some longer and stranger options in the bag here that I generally don't prefer, but some people just absolutely adore. The biggest thing about any scuff controller is the paddles. These paddles have been redesigned. If you notice, they're much bigger, uh, fatter paddles than the old skinny ones. So when I hold it with my hands, and we're going to change angles just a little bit, Jessica, it is much, much easier for me to get grips and pull in with these fingers. You can probably hear it clicking and push down with these or lower or either one. It's just really big fat grips so it rests really gentle and you get a good grip on the controller as well. Scuff has decided that uh, we're finally getting four paddles for PlayStation 4 now, thank God, because that hasn't been a thing. I've been stuck with two. And these are removable paddles. If you notice, there's a tiny groove on the sides. I'm going to try to do this upside down and take one of these paddles out. Oh, there we go. Got to give it a little bit forward push and they pop right out. And you can see what it actually does is it hits a little button right there. And the button here is going to correspond with one of the face buttons on the controller. So your paddle can be jump, it can be duck, it can be reload, change guns. And with four, they're mapped here by default, but you can change it to anything. You can change it to the bumpers, you can change it to the clicks or to the D-pad, whatever you want. And there's a tiny little dot on the bottom side of the paddle, if we can see that, that touches the button. So the idea being, if I'm holding my controller and I want to jump, let's say I'm aiming and I want to jump and spin at the same time, well normally I would have to stop aiming, tap jump, and then go back real quick. Well with the scuff, I can just hit one of the paddles on the bottom and just jump all the while aiming, no issues whatsoever. Some people don't like the paddles and they want them gone to have their controller normal. Some people like one, two, three. Uh, this controller is pretty flexible and then it allows you, I'm trying to hold it <laughs> for the camera here, and then it allows you to do it just about however you want. Let's see if I can put this back in sideways. I have to hold it a different angle for the camera. There we go. Let's see if I can slide it in. Pop perfectamundo. 
and it's back and I turned it back on. So we are set and that paddle is now reactivated and we're good to go. Uh, generally speaking, really like scuff controllers, been using these for years and years and years, always recommend them on the channel. This one's, I think this is gonna be their new flagship model. Oh yeah, one other small thing I almost forgot. So one of the stranger things about the controller that you might not think much of that I happen to like is this little rectangular box. It's just the plastic shape. It's uh, ultimately an ergonomic design, but what it's designed for, if I can get this right, if you take your charging cable and plug it into the controller, which I'm trying to do without looking at it, it kind of catches the cable so it doesn't bend or break or pop. I've had a lot of PlayStation controllers. I put pressure right there, broke the port. Won't be happening here, which is quite nice. Next up, I told you before, I do not like concave thumbsticks. I, they hurt my fingers, they're irritating to me, they're not very fun. And this one came with that, Just I just kind of got a random one, right? They send it kind of randomly customized. Thank goodness, though, they send these little thumbstick customization packs that have dome thumbsticks that I like much better. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up on camera. Just get these. Now, of course, you can get your controller however it is that you want it. They're all customizable, right? Um, but in case you change your mind later, we've got these guys. Nice little domed sticks. So what I'm going to do is really quickly change out my sticks using the tool that I put down over here earlier. You can see we have rings that lock them in. You just unlock, unlock, and once that's done, you can just grab Make sure that's actually twisted all the way. It's kind of crazy to do it upside down, right? Just grab and pull her on out. Come on now. There we go. And you're going to say, all right, Drift, you've completely broken your controller. What did you do? You're crazy. Nope, not crazy. It's just part of the design. Take the little rings off. And I am going to, let's see, this is my aiming one. I'm going to try to do this, this little rectangular space you just let's see orient and you get it on there you should if I can get it on there <laughs> there you go I've got that one on now let's get this one lined up the way that I want it which is like this make sure that it's lined up and put on now they're both on here so we just push down and give it a pretty good push and they're locked in place now you don't want those popping off while you're playing because that would definitely suck so you put your rings back on. Lock it in place and you're good to go. You have changed the thumbsticks on your controller. There's no difference in sensitivity and accuracy. It's just an ergonomic thing that you might want to do. Speaking of ergonomics, you may have noticed this does not look like a PlayStation 4 controller at all. This is very much more like an Xbox One controller. I got the Titanfall one, I just happen to like that design. You can see there's some similarities, but you can also see that this one's a little bit bigger. So what I thought it would be a good thing to do is to break out my super old Xbox 360 hybrid scuff, which is ba the basic Xbox 360 controller, and it's much more similar to that. The scuff impact is basically somewhere between an Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 4 controller. It changes the ergonomics that lets you play on PS4 with a controller much more like this one and all the same thing with the paddles. You can, oh yeah, I talked about the fat paddles. You can see the old paddles on the back. See how it's changed a little bit over the years and you don't have those screws coming out of the bottom or anything, but this is a fantastic controller and I highly recommend it. All right, last bit today, I'm mostly focused on the Xbox controller that you can play on PS4, but we also have the next line of Scuff Infinity Professional to take a look at. If you've seen my other Scuff Infinity reviews, it's roughly similar to that. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, except on the bottom they do have the new trigger stops and the new paddles. The big difference being that this is modeled after the PS4 Pro Controller, so this is a wired controller. One of the most important things is when you plug this in, you get data via USB and not Bluetooth whatsoever. Yeah, you can see we've kind of got the slightly simpler version of all the stuff I just went over. And uh, if you want a competitive controller that is just like a PlayStation controller, but wired with all the scuff nice things, this one is the way to go. Not a bad controller, but honestly, I think I like the impact better. 
Guys, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you're interested in any of these, you can check out the links below down there in the description. Drifter out.